Hey guys, I'm Katie at Screenscape Networks, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create media from scratch using our app. So you wanna be under the Media tab on the homepage, and you can see here, I don't have any pictures loaded, so I've got no media content to go up on my TV screen. My favorite way to add a photo background for my design is actually just to drag and drop it right from my desktop onto this page. You can drop up to 10 images at a time, or you can do one, whatever you prefer is totally fine. And just like that, the photo that I picked is now uploaded and ready to be customized. So what you wanna to do to be able to customize this design is you can either double click right here on the image itself or click once to select it and head over to this pencil icon. This opens the media editor. A couple things to show you is this bar is where you can give it a name. This panel is called your theater panel and this is the design as it will show up on your screen once you've finished it and put it on your device. So everything that you'll want to customize it with will pop up here. Here on the right under the data tab uh, is your layer panel. So every piece of content that makes up your whole design will be here in layers. For this tutorial, let's click on this blue plus button, which allows you to add text, video, or photos. So we're going to add text. So the first thing you, I like to do is put the message that I want my screen to say. And to bring up our text editor, all you have to do is highlight the text that you want to change or customize. And you can see you get, you get all the standard um, text editing features. So under this tab is our font family collection. So I'm just gonna pick one here that kind of catches my eye. Oh, I like Rochester, perfect. Make it a little bit bigger. Great, and you can also change the color of the text here or the background highlight of the text. I kind of like the white, so we'll just leave it like that. And you can add multiple lines of text in each layer box, but I like to add each new line on a different layer. And that's because if it's on a different layer, you can grab it and you can move it around. You can totally customize where it goes. And it kind of allows me to be more particular about my design, which I really like. Another rule of thumb that I like to go by is to never use more than two, maybe three maximum font types in one design. If you have more than three for sure, it starts to look kind of cluttered and messy. And you want people to look at your screen and get the message pretty quickly. Um, so this is looking pretty great. So over here, the last step I like to do on a simple design like this is organize my layers just so that when I look at it quickly, I can find exactly what I want. Just a little bit of housekeeping tips. So to recap, we've named our design. We have uploaded the photo that we want for the background and we've added our text right there. Um, so now all that's left to do is to click save. And just like that, we have a customized piece of media that is ready to go on our device and up on our screens.